welcome back to another YouTube video. Today, actually, obviously, of course, we're doing a vlog. And it's Saturday because I'm starting this on a Saturday because last night, Friday night, I had a wedding. So I filmed a whole like wedding guest to get ready with me video, which I will put up as a Thursday video. I'll link it if it's already up. <laughs> and yeah, I mean, I didn't want to like vlog someone's wedding because I feel like that would be a little bit intrusive <laughs> but I did just film a couple clips of like the dress that I wore how I accessorized it hair and makeup all of that but yes so now it's Saturday and yeah oh my gosh I like when I woke up I was like okay I need to I had so much makeup on that I was like I need to like detox my face I did like a full cleanse I exfoliated and now I'm looking very glowy after that exfoliation I use the Paula's choice one which is like a really Really kind of gentle exfoliator that's good for sensitive skin so yes I did that and then now I think I'm just gonna meet up with Lyle and we're probably going to get breakfast but it's a beautiful little Saturday morning this is my last weekend before I'm going to Paris so I'm just kind of still like finalizing a couple of things as far as like what I'm packing and I don't know just kind of like planning things out and then over here on my on my uh by my desk this little corner of the apartment I have these little papers up on the wall because I'm testing out figuring out which wallpaper I want because I kind of want to make this wall that sticks out an accent wall and have my desk kind of be in the center of it and then maybe put up some bookshelves on it as well and finally put away my books and then obviously get rid of the spices and figure out with a little maybe a storage thing right there but I ordered from a couple different places I got some from Etsy like that one and these ones and that one but then like that one that one and those two are from this site that I found called love versus design so yeah these are just I just basically ordered like a ton of five dollar samples and some of them I'm like I like and some of them I don't like right away I already am eliminating that one because I feel like it's just too pink too little girly I guess for this room especially with like this corner and stuff here I kind of want to make it more of a kind of sophisticated vibe this one I think is a little bit too busy so I don't think I'm gonna go with that I do kind of like this one it's almost like a, a pretty kind of like castle print with like a flower sort of thing. I kind of do like that one, but I don't know if I love this almost dark purple color. I, I, if this was came in a little bit of a lighter shade, maybe I would do that. <sighs> Again, I kind of like that, but I just don't love the colors. It's a little too like watercolory for me, I think. And then I do really like this one. It feels a little bit more kind of just like, I don't know, soft, but also so somehow a little retro. So I'm not sure. That one, I don't know. I don't really like the outlines. It's like an outlined peony. And then down here, I think I'm actually leaning the most towards this one. These two are the same. I just uh, ordered them in two different colors. This one is a little bit darker and a little bit more... I don't know, just like a darker beige mauve kind of color and then this one here is just like a little bit lighter and I think just like with the corner and with the desk and also it needs to not clash with the rug as well I think that I'm leaning the most towards that one so yeah but I do think that it is nice to just kind of put them up and sort of live with them for a little while and just in different lighting and just different situations kind of see which ones you like and I feel like I'm still continuing to lead lean towards that one so I think that'll be a project for when I get back from Paris will be just finally finalizing this little corner here and then we'll be pretty close to finishing the apartment oh and then these are just the two colors that I chose but what's cool about this this website love versus design that I found is that you can customize and do any color that you want. So you can like pick a pattern that you like and then choose the color that you want. So I kind of was like oh, testing out things over in this family over here. But yeah, so I don't know. I just thought that that was cool. 
I've got my suitcase here. This is what I packed in my, what I'm packing for Paris. So I've got all my stuff in there that I showed you guys. And then this on top here is going to be my little travel outfit. I kind of decided that I wanted to be comfortable, but not like too comfortable looking. So I have these pants that I actually wore out to dinner with Kendall a little while ago with like a white button up. And they're just like, a, like a, almost like a grayish pink. They need to be ironed, but yeah, that's those. They're kind of like cropped, they're cute. And then I figured I'd do with the sweater because it can tend to get really cold on planes and just like in, port, in airports in general. And when I'm trying to sleep, I'm like, I need to be cozy. <laughs> so instead of doing like a sweatshirt or something, I was like, I feel like a little sweater. And this one actually has short sleeves. So it's, I don't know, a little bit more versatile. And then if I get really cold, I'm going to put this one in my bag and then just throw this one over my shoulders. So it's just like an open kind of cardigan that's about the same color, so looks good. And then you guys, all the comments about the sneakers. I think I am going to bring the sneakers and I'll do the Vija ones, cause that's what you guys mostly said to do. So I think I really will only wear these for like the travel days, but outside of that, I'll wear like cuter shoes during the day. But I'll see what the, what the Parisians are wearing. I'll see <laughs> what the deal is when we get there, but I definitely wanna bring a pair. Oh, and then, okay, I figured out, hello, <laughs> this, I finally found a, a new tote bag. So I think, I think I was talking about in my video that I have this bag from Madewell that's like brown, but it's kind of stained and old, so I really need to get rid of it. And I just didn't really have another bag, but I got this one. It's from this brand called... I'm definitely going to pronounce it wrong. It's spelled C-U-Y-U-N-A, I believe. And I think it's Kriana. Not really 100% sure, but they do these tote bags. And this isn't the only one that they do. They have a store right here in Nolita. So I actually got this one there. So that was super convenient. It was like right around the block. And I, I picked out this light pink one. and And I got my initials. Uh like personalized in it so I thought that was cool and they do a couple different types but what's also awesome about this bag is that it has this really cool insert it has you can get these inserts it's gonna be hard to like do this with one hand but they have these inserts that you can get as well where you can fit all of this stuff I don't know why but I am just like obsessed with like I don't know, organizing stuff within my bags. So I love that it has like this pocket here that you can put in a water bottle or like an umbrella. This side here, you can put like your phone. My phone is actually too big for this because I have the 12 Pro Max, I think. I don't even remember anymore like what number we're on, but it's too big to fit in that spot. So I actually like to put hand, uh, we'll be putting hand sanitizer in there and maybe my mask will go in that little corner there. This little is a little hook that you can hook your keys so you don't get them lost in your bag. This is a slot here for a laptop. So this is perfect for traveling because I can put my laptop in there. And then it has like these pockets too. So you could put like your wallet, um, anything else you need, a zipper pocket here as well. And then all this space in the center, which I'm going to be putting like my sweater when I'm on the plane. So I'm kind of thinking what I'm going to do here is like, put my laptop, everything to like keep me occupied on the plane. And then once I get through security, I'm going to buy a water bottle and put it in here because planes are so dehydrating. So it's good to just stay hydrated to, I don't know, feel better, have your skin look better, everything. This is my external hard drive right in there. It fits perfectly with even some room, headphones, all of that. So, and the best part is that obviously, so they said that this fits perfectly under the seat in front of you. And what's awesome about it too is that it actually zips across the whole top. So a lot of tote bags are open. So it's kind of like when you put them under the seat in front of you, it's like stuff falls out of them and it's really annoying, but this one just zips up. So for that, all of those reasons, I was like, this is honestly going to be the perfect bag. And you can take this insert out as well. So I'm thinking that when we're there, maybe if I don't want to carry, you know, everything and I just want to bring maybe like a little sweater with me, my wallet, and then like, I don't know, stuff that I buy, 
I can just take this out, leave this in the hotel, and then take the rest of the bag with me. So I feel like it's really cute. They have a lot of colors, but of course I went with this like light baby pink and gold lettering here. So it'll go with all of the, all of the outfits. And yeah, I just had to show you because I thought that that was really kind of a useful little tote. Even for work, I think I also as well wanted to get this because I was like, when we go eventually back to the office, I will 100% use this for work because it'll fit like my lunch in it, my laptop, anything else that I need. Perfect for commuting on the subway too because it has this zip. So it's like commuting, work, subway, traveling, everything, like you won't get robbed. <laughs> so you can just feel safe. So all around, I feel like this was a really good find. Saturday night now and I am at my apartment alone I'm just gonna have a little night to myself basically Lyle had his friends text him to see if they wanted to get dinner and although I do a lot of times go out with friends, friends to you know do stuff I just wasn't really feeling it tonight and I feel like it's important to just be able to say no, like, sorry, no, next time, you know, I'm not really feeling like it tonight, but like, you go, have fun, and like, no, 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 go, <laughs> you know, so that was kind of how that went, but yeah, I mean, sometimes I just feel like if you're not feeling it, it's okay to say no, and you don't have to have an even like a, like a excuse or a specific reason it can just be no thank you it should be good enough so yeah so I'm kind of proud of myself for saying no and yeah I uh I'm just gonna kind of do a little night in by myself maybe eat some dinner definitely eat some dinner I'm starving and then maybe watch a movie but basically today, Lyle and I got brunch, lunch at Cafe Chitan, which it was good. I liked it. It was more of like a, like, <laughs> I guess my review of it is if you want to go and like sit, have a long conversation, and just be very chill, then that's a great place but if you're in a rush or you're very hungry then maybe not the best place because the service is very slow but at the same time I kind of get that because it's like there were people that were sitting there outside who were like sitting by themselves reading books like it's that kind of place where it's just like super chill so yeah <laughs> but we were really hungry and the portions were very small so we were like oh it was tough but that's all right. And then after that, we just looked at a couple shops, Diptyque, Cezanne, I think that was it. And then I did my laundry. So I went to Lyle's, just did two quick loads because I wanted to make sure that I have my laundry done before we leave. So, because we're actually, today being Saturday, we're leaving in less than a week. We're leaving on this coming Thursday. So, yeah, basically I am like just needing to make sure that I wanted to have all of my laundry done. So you know, you have all your all your clothes to choose from to pack. So mostly I just need to pack like, you know, underwear, socks, um, pajamas, <laughs> and like maybe a couple other extra little things. But 
yes so that was fun so i think i'm just gonna run down to the grocery store i don't really have that much food i'm not gonna do a grocery shop this week because if i just buy groceries a lot of the stuff will just go bad and i don't want to have any like food in my fridge it's going to go bad while i'm away so i'm just gonna throw my shoes on run back downstairs buy some food make dinner then sort out my laundry watch a movie and have a little chill night in in Tribeca and yeah I wanted to make sure that I had my hair appointment right before ooh, across the street multitasking I wanted to make sure that I had my appointment right before the trip to Paris just so that my hair looks you know as good as I possibly can on the trip and you know for everything so I felt like that was good timing and it's been a while so yeah I'm excited to get it done excited to see Jasmine just walking to Tribeca I like woke up kind of late. I had a really good sleep last night. And then now this morning, I was just getting ready. All of a sudden I looked at the clock and I was like, it's 10.44, I need to go. So I didn't get time to finish doing my makeup or anything, but that's all right. refreshed for Paris um but yeah so now I'm just walking back up Broadway and I'm just gonna do a little bit of shopping see if there's anything else that I need to get last minute to buy on my trip so I think I'm gonna hit up a couple stores and um just get a few things I need I know I need to go to Sephora get some miniature versions of things and yeah just shop around a little bit <laughs> I did a little shopping and whew, I'm getting kind of like nervous, excited. For this trip but mainly what I was focusing on buying was miniatures <laughs> and I love miniature sized things like something that's big but then it's actually small I am I just love it so I wanted to show you guys the miniature things that I got for this trip and then also just talk about like good places to find miniatures these are some miniature sizes that I have been collecting I don't know if you could really tell on camera that they're small but they are definitely small <laughs> this one is like so small uh, but uh, yeah so I feel like it's important to have miniature miniature sizes of things because it takes up less space in your suitcase you really don't need that much, obviously. And when you're on the plane as well, if you wanna do like your skincare or your makeup, it's just so much easier. 
So I like to just find miniatures at Sephora. They do, like in the checkout line, they have all the miniatures. I also just found out that they sell a lot of their miniatures online. And then they have like a miniature section of Sephora. And then also I like to get miniatures from Glossier because I love Glossier skincare and Glossier actually does their skincare edit, which is like miniature sizes of all of the like main products like that's like your entire skincare routine and miniature travel size version i think it's like the most perfect thing that they have ever made <laughs> honestly but basically in the skincare edit there's a cleanser so they have the milky jelly cleanser that's like this little mini version and then they have a serum so i believe it was this one yeah the super bounce which is the hyaluronic acid serum so that's really good for like hydrating I also have this mini vitamin C serum because this is how they used to sell them. This is like their old formula and they used to be smaller before they changed the formula and made them bigger at the same price, which is also a good thing. But um, like for example, I'm going to bring that. They also in there did a mini priming moisturizer rich. So this is a moisturizer and it's a little bit more of a heavy one. So this is really good for nighttime. I love putting this on either day or night but i mainly focus that one on nighttime and then they also made many versions of the bomb.com so there's the original which is just like really no scent but it feels really good on the lips i like to use this in the mornings and then they also have a little mini of the rose which is i think one of the most popular ones and then they also in there have a little mini future do which is once you're done with the skincare you can just put this on it's almost like a primer it's like really glowy underneath your foundation if you're using the uh, skin tint because that's a very kind of like hydrating moisturizing like thinner very light coverage foundation or just under your concealer i like to do the glossier concealer on a little stippling brush as my foundation or i just like to if i'm having a good skincare day just do a little bit on my fingers and just go over the dots and then everything else is natural as you can tell right now i have some some zits i actually got when i was at sephora i got these peace out acne they're little acne patches they're like a, like a dot that you put on it so i might try those out and see if that helps me but anyways i'm being natural in the skincare today because i want to kind of this week take care of my skin and then i'll wear go all glam out and do the makeup when i'm on vacation this is they actually i think believe that this is one of the things you can get with your points at sephora so obviously you know like when you're at the checkout line and they have all of those options that you can get with your points this is one of the options and i actually kept it because i have the the bigger size version of this so even though i've used all of this up whenever i travel i'll put like a little bit more i'll just scoop some out of the big one and put it into here and then just use this and it's perfect this smells amazing it's the lip sleeping mask from laniege obviously a miniature toothpaste you can find that at any drugstore okay and then sephora stuff so i might bring both the milky jelly and this one i'm not exactly sure but these are my two favorite cleansers at the moment this is the fresh soy face cleanser and it's just this you know smaller version of it so i feel like this is great also i have because i like to do a double cleanse so first i will use my my cellar water on a cotton pad and remove my makeup with that and then i'll actually cleanse just to make sure that all of the dirt and oils and makeups are actually off off of my face before i go to sleep so i have that this one is actually all out but i have another one at uh, lyle's apartment so i think i need to go get that and then i decided that actually for this trip i'm going to bring regular disposable cotton pads with me I do use reusable cotton pads on a normal like day-to-day -day basis because they're better for the environment and then I just wash them in the washer but when I'm on vacation I feel like it's a lot harder to use reusable cotton pads because it's like they're soaked and then you like where are you gonna put them and like you have to wait for them to dry and it just becomes a whole hassle so I'm glad that like you know i'm making strides in different parts of my everyday life to be more environmentally conscious um and then sometimes i feel like you kind of have to do what you have to do these ones are from shishido but i think that that's almost like a good way to be is that like 
don't not be environmentally conscious because you can't do it 100% of the time. Even if you're doing it like 70 or 80% of the time or even 50% of the time, it's still better than doing it 0% of the time. So it doesn't have to be an all or nothing mentality, I think, because that'll help. I feel like a lot of people just realize that like, just making decisions where they can. But anyways, yes, I have gotten these before. So I was hoping that in the checkout line they had like one, like a smaller version and that was that size because they used to in the past. But I didn't see them this time, so I had to get a big pack of them. But I will just pack away enough of these for like, I don't know, as many nights as we're staying. And then, oh, dry shampoo. So I love this one from Living Proof because it actually cleans your hair, or so it claims. It says, actually cleans hair, eliminates oil, sweat, and odor. I find that a lot of dry shampoos, the scent of them is so strong, and I don't like that. I like don't want there to be a strong scent in my dry shampoos because I want the scent that's coming off of me to be like my perfume or other things that I actually choose, not like dry shampoo so I forget I forget if this one has a scent I think it still has a little bit of a scent but I remember it's not as strong as other ones so I like that good dry shampoo for if I'm not ready to wash my hair and go through the whole blow drying situation after cleansing I actually like to use a toner so this is the beauty elixir elixir from Caudalie and I used to use this in the bigger size um, they did, I think, a limited edition, but they might have made it, like, full-time version of this where it was, like, a pink one. And I think it was more of, like, a rose aroma, but this one is just their regular one. It's, like, soothing, glowing, and I love this one. When you spray it on, it feels so luxurious, and it comes in a glass bottle, so it just feels nice. And then, oh, I have a miniature prep rally so this is from dry bar and this is for this is a heat protectant so this protects your hair from heat and it's also a detangler so i like this because obviously if i'm going to be putting heat on my hair which i will when i'm there because i want to look good <laughs> then i'm going to protect my hair first because my hair is thin and fragile and then i also like this this is the little mini gisu honey hair oil I like using this instead of heat if I'm going to wear my hair up to get the frizzies out of the way because yeah I think in the past I would have like straightened my hair right here and then like put it strict like slick back up and sprayed it with hairspray and so instead what I've done is started using the honey hair oil and I find that that's a little bit more gentle on my hair so I do that although with fine hair you do have to be careful because oils can be very heavy but this one is actually very light formula so i love that and they have a little mini one at sephora and then i think the last thing that i have here is the dream coat from color wow this is a spray and this is supposed to prevent your hair from humidity and apparently this is supposed to be amazing i actually haven't tried it yet and the reason why i got this small one is because i almost like didn't want to fully invest in it yet so i got that instead and then actually when i was at my hair appointment today i saw in the corner that they had mini versions of my shampoo and conditioner so i was like oh like let me buy those so this is actually this is the shampoo so this is the blonde line from Kerastase, and this is a really nice brand and i love their products like every time i use them on my hair i'm like yes it's they, they're amazing uh and then this is the conditioner of course so this is a just a regular condenser conditioner you r rinse that out and then this one is an actual like leave-in conditioner so this is good for i always do this use this after i'm out of a shower and it's for pre-blow drying so i think while i'm gone what i'm gonna do is shampoo condition and then put this in my hair brush it out and then heat protectant and then i'm good to go on the hair products my little hair products section i feel like i'm like good to go now and like ready to pack the only thing i need to figure out is body wash i've had this one my friend mary actually got this for me so long ago and i have had it and i have used it all the way down 
and yeah I think she literally gave this to me in college so sorry if that's <laughs> gross that I've had it this long but it seems fine and it smells really good it's from Bath and Body Works but I did when I was at Sephora I saw this and it was like $12 and I was like oh that's really cute actually so maybe what I'll do is just put some of my actual body wash from my shower into here anyways just wanted to show you some of the miniatures and I think what I'm gonna do is keep packing a little bit I have my suitcase right there with everything in it and then I started putting some of the pajamas that I want to bring on top just so that I know not to wear them oh I also figured out my plain my plain outfit so I actually I don't know if I already told you this on the video or not but yeah I'm gonna do this like drawstring pant and this little sweater top so really excited for that only other thing that I wanted to show you was this. <laughs> I was in TJ Maxx on Broadway and I saw this and I was like, oh, this is so me. <laughs> it's so pretty. It's like little peonies on a spatula and a pink whisk. Are you kidding? Ugh, and this like mixing bowl. I'm like the next thing, next time I bake something, I am 1000% doing it in this. I thought that that was just so cute. So I had to get that too. And I think, yeah. It was only $12, so I was like, this is a must. I don't even know where I'm going to put it. I don't even know if I have room for it in my tiny kitchen, but I was like, you must come with me. I'm just like sorting out all my stuff now. I'm curious about these peace out pimple patches. Do a little zipper here. Oh, it says after cleansing, apply a dot tacky side down on your blemish for best results. Wear for six hours or simply leave it on overnight. Okay, so then in that case, I think what I'm going to do is save this too before I go to bed tonight and wear it overnight. <laughs> list of things that I'm going to pack last minute because there are some things that like I only have one of that I'm going to need so I always make this list whenever I pack so like one of those would be like my razor um, my phone par phone charger my floss and I'll keep this list as I am packing all right so at this point of the night not too much more going on I'm just going to edit my YouTube videos and eat some dinner and get ready for the week ahead of me it's obviously an exciting week because it's gonna be a short week because I am leaving on Thursday so I'll only have Monday Tuesday Wednesday but it's going to be a really busy three days. I have like all of my meetings, everything I need to do just like crammed into three days, but that's all right. It'll be worth it, of course, <laughs> in the end. So yeah, I'm still really excited, but the next vlog that I see you in will be my Paris vlog. So definitely check that out. Don't forget to subscribe for more videos and Check out my Instagram, Fashion Squirrel, and hopefully I'll see you guys next time. Okay. Bye.